some live aerial shots we have now from major CFMEU protests uh, starting here in Sydney. But these are coordinated rallies taking place around the country. And we've uh, got shots of these taking place with huge numbers, as you can see there. So it's uh, thousands of CFMEU members. They've put down their tools. They're protesting against this administration takeover of the organisation. These shots that we're bringing you here now are Melbourne, as you can see. Uh, and this industrial action, uh, unprotected industrial action, I should say, uh, has just begun at the top of this hour. Uh, this is the shot that we're bringing you here from Brisbane at the moment. These marches, as I say, taking place in cities around the country. Uh, this follows the federal government placing the union's construction arm into administration. That came amid allegations of corrupt behaviour within the union. Now, uh, police have deployed traffic management resources along the streets to minimise any disruption. This is the shot here we're returning to from Sydney, where you can see thousands taking part. And uh, the Fair Work Ombudsman says it's going to be monitoring this situation for any illegal industrial action. So just repeating there, it's uh, unprotected action given the status of the union because it, you can't promote it, uh, given that branch has been put into administration. And uh, what that means for those taking part is that they could have their pay docked uh, for taking part in this action today. They could face other penalties for it. Uh, that hasn't deterred them, though. We can see the numbers certainly turning out there. Uh, the Sydney shot there, but as we have shown you, Melbourne and Brisbane as well, thousands taking part in these coordinated protests or rallies, I should say, across the country. Now, our reporter Elias Kluwer is in Melbourne. He joins us now. Elias, how are our authorities preparing for these rallies? Gemma, well, police say they'll have a visible presence here along uh, Trade Hall. We're currently at the intersection of Russell Street and Mackenzie Street, and you can see them all around here. Tara's pointing the camera to them now, and uh, they've put multiple diversions in place. There's an incredible amount of people here. I'm going to estimate a rough estimate of at least 15,000 here now, and they're just streaming through, loud and proud, wearing their CFMEU shirts, waving their flags, there was a chance of John Setka just before, of course. He's been embroiled in significant controversy. This all comes after allegations were aired of serious corruption and criminality and links to bikey gangs within the CFMEU. That, of course, led to the union being placed in administration, up to 300 officials being removed from their official duties. And, of course, now other unions standing in, quote, solidarity with the CFMEU, coming out here, walking off the job and standing with them at this protest. And there's no shortage of construction sites here in Melbourne, 19 projects worth over a billion dollars. So that just gives you the scale and the enormity of the disruptions being expected today. But as we see here, it's just an incredible amount of people. They were chanting just before. It almost sounded like a football match when they roared in support of uh, CMF, former CFMEU Secretary John Setka. So this is, of course, unprotected industrial action, which means employers can uh, pr take proceedings to remove up to four hours of pay or even remove them from their positions. Um, now, we're hoping, well, police are hoping and politicians are hoping that we don't see a repeat of the 2021 um, industrial strike and, and when um, construction workers walked off the job where we saw several violent incidents. The Premier of Victoria spoke to that today, as did the Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Let's have a listen to him. Uh, what we want to do, though, is to make sure that their union is free of corruption. That is in the interests of all trade unionists. Uh, trade unions do a great job defending occupational health and safety, uh, campaigning for better wages and conditions for their members. Uh, what they shouldn't be engaged in is the sort of activity that John Setka and others have been. Here in Victoria, Gemma, an independent uh, review or probe into this, to the construction industry is currently taking place. We're expected to get the interim report on that by Friday. Now, in terms of this protest, though, they're expected to walk up Russell Street, perhaps end at State Parliament. We're not quite sure. They'll continue chanting. They'll continue chanting John Setka's name, you'd presume. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it ends up. We'll be back with you at midday to, uh, to give everyone an update.